Fora TV. The world is thinking. Cass, you've written about, um, well, in, in an aside in your last piece for the New Republic, which I commend to you all, um, uh, that Obama is is open open to nuclear. Uh, what what do you? How would you describe the difference between the two candidates on the issue? Well, I think this is important to know about S Senator Obama that he's an empiricist and he's not uh, someone who says what do people of a certain political stripe think and I'll just follow that. So he said with respect to nuclear power, uh, this is something worth considering. I want to know what the science says. I want to know what the risks are. I want to know about the disposal issue. So in my view, to his credit, his knee hasn't jerked hard against nuclear power. This is something that has an empirical component. It, it doesn't have the kind of moral clarity of some of the other issues that divide the Democrats and Republicans. Nonetheless, I do think there's, there's a difference, which is that uh, Senator McCain has often seemed recently very excited about nuclear power, whereas Senator Obama is uh, curious and willing to consider. I guess I think that the politics, though I defer to those who really know, are such that the notion that we're going to rely significantly more on nuclear power than we now do isn't realistic. But, uh, but there is a difference in the sense that one will inquire and maybe make some movement if the science looks really good, that's Senator Obama, and the other might uh, at least try, probably be blocked, but to, to charge ahead a bit. Well, just from at least from my perspective, I don't think that the problem with uh, additional reliance on nuclear power is the politics as much as it is the economics. I think that it's very expensive to build a nuclear power plant. It takes a long time to do it. And uh, I think utilities that are trying to make this decision, do we build a nuclear power plant? Do we put in concentrating solar power? Do we put in uh, wind energy? What do we put in? Um, I think uh, if the technology develops quickly enough, uh, it will prove uh, to be more economical to move to some of these other areas than to move to additional nuclear plants. Now, there are quite a few nuclear plants that are currently uh, in the planning uh, and uh, even preliminary steps of construction. I think they filed, I don't know exactly the number of applications that are before the Nuclear Regulatory Commission now, but quite a few. So I think that nuclear power will be a significant part of meeting these objectives, particularly with regard to global warming, but uh, how significant I think will depend on the economics. Can I say something? Yeah. Thank you. Um, there has not been a new nuclear power plant ordered successfully in the United States since 19. 74. That's 34 years. And there will be no new, we're just talking market forces here, okay? You know, there will not be a new nuclear power plant that actually generates electricity for at least another 10 years in the United States. So that takes you out to 2018. Huh? So that's 44 years in between. So, just taking that as your starting point, and also then factoring in, and the largest nuclear power plant generates 1,000 megawatts. So there were 5,400 megawatts of new wind installed last year in the United States. 7,000 new megawatts of wind installed in the United States this year. An average of 15,000 new megawatts of wind will be installed in the United States beginning in 2011 or 2012. By the time the first nuclear power plant generates the first 1,000 megawatts, there will be 150,000 megawatts of wind in the United States. Mo Udall used to have this old joke about a horse and rabbit stew. One horse, one rabbit. Wind and nuclear stew. 150,000 megawatts of wind, 1,000 megawatts of nuclear in 2018. So it'll be part of the mix, but understand it's the rabbit in the stew, and it also is something that the nuclear industry says they cannot build unless they get federal taxpayer loan guarantees for almost the entire construction of the plant, which has Adam Smith spinning in his grave 
uh, wondering about, because I could set up the Markey nuclear company if I knew I couldn't lose because the taxpayers were going to guarantee every single dollar. So just understand that they cannot survive in a free market, that wind, and it will be followed quickly by solar and other renewable technologies, will so obscure the role of nuclear uh, that by the time we reach 2025, when they have to have constructed 45 new nuclear power plants just to replace the ones that retire, that we will have already moved on to this renewable uh, electricity revolution. So just to get it in context, so that it's, the, it's almost the outer continental shelf of electricity generation for McCain to be talking about that. It's, there are so many red herrings Senator McCain has put out there, we'd almost have to put an aquarium in front of the podium as he's speaking, okay? And this is just another one of them that distracts from the things that actually work in the marketplace that people are investing in today.